How's it going? Um, Steven here. Uh, you join me in my 8.6. Um, I'm about to run to a hardware store to do some stuff for a Sard LSR drillless wing. So if anyone doesn't know about these, they're pretty cool. Um, I was wondering when I got the car, I was like looking at the kind of and when I bought it, I'll put up the picture. I ended up just being outside the Toyota dealer and it had a picture of a FT1 on the thing and I kind of saw some similarities and I saw the like the hydraulic air brake and all that and I was like, that is cool. I'd love to get something that kind of fit that style that was actually designed for the kind of car. And then I looked it up and I saw the Sard LSR and I was like, that's exactly what I had in mind. Like kind of a and like OEM like newer OEM kind of GT wing that you would see on like a higher end car so yeah I've, I've always really wanted to get one typical cheap ass me I don't want to buy it new so I've been watching the marketplace for the longest time finally got one um really good condition the only downside I didn't know it until I picked it up um I should have used it as a haggling point to get it down another little bit but it's missing the plates to actually protect to like spread the load that these place um, evenly. The guy who fitted it to his car, I could see all the damage it had like indented the, the sheet metal from, you know, upside and that's not cool. I don't want that to happen because I like the way it looks. I've kind of test fitted it with a load of protection in place, but I'm not sure if it's going to be a keeper. And I think it's usually beneficial, especially in the Vancouver area to kind of what they call like part outs because like lease, everyone kind of leases their cars and then I, I own mine, but it usually makes sense to like take off some of the parts like I won't be taking off the body kit and stuff like that but something like that the wing it's kind of a matter of taste some people will or will not like it they probably won't pay any extra money for it being on the car and then they'll just they'll be the one to take it off and sell it so I want to be the one to be able to do that I don't want my um, trunk lid to be busted up and also I'm not fully sure if I'm going to keep it on forever I like it for a little while I'll probably prefer it off again in a little while that's why I didn't like I never wanted to rush into buying it exact same way that I bought the OFT. I was like, I like it, I want to try it out, but I want to be able to like get in and out of it for like almost no money. Like I don't mind, you know, taking a fifty hundred dollar hit. I don't want to be spending losing like four or five hundred dollars on something that like, you know, I wouldn't mind doing that on something that I really like, but that I knew, you know, I wanted, had on the car and then sold like that'd be different. But those kind of two things were like weighing them up. I didn't need them. So I was just patient. I remember messaging a few people, I saw cars for sale that had the starred wing, got on to the guy, hey, will you sell it? You know, they wouldn't or they'd want like crazy money for it. And you're like, okay, I could just buy it new. So I got this one a little bit cheaper, not super cheap. Um, like it wasn't a, an amazing deal. I would have liked to got it like a little bit cheaper. But anyways. So I'm going to try and get a plate from a hardware store that's like perfectly sized or at least something that I can cut. I might have to buy some tools. Apartment life living fucking sucks. Um, but it's a hell of a lot cheaper than renting a shop and I like living downtown so I don't want to um, not do that so yeah catch you later so what's up another day another mod um, we're in the garage with the 86 um, made, made a purchase the other day um, funny managed to pick up a carbon LSR wing got it in here some tools um, bought it used and it was all kind of still together when I got it and then when I picked it up the guy was like hey you know what um, my thing has my trunk lid now has like three dents in it which he only told me then because I didn't have like plates for these screws to mount up to so I was like oh, okay weird um, I hadn't looked that much at the pictures. I kind of thought that was strange, but I was like, you know what? Maybe that's just the way it is and I'll just make my own plate. Yeah, I just bought a bar of aluminium. I managed to cut it, actually to cut them narrower than what they were and shorter and all that stuff. Just using a hacksaw and a miter box, wooden miter box. Again, had that for a woodworking project. Got the new saw, worked perfectly. Um, so yeah. Let me get started on it, mounting it. I've done a done a test mock up already, kind of reaffirming that I for sure needed the plates. I knew I did, and I just wanted to see if I liked how it looked. That was coming up, but it's the old. It actually the screws are like go right on this seat, um, so that's soft, obviously. And yeah, you don't want to mess that up. So I'm gonna put the plate here. 
I already got the five axis wing. So the mine will have to just run around and work pretty close to that. But yeah. In terms of the looks, I definitely want it to be reversible. That's why I'm really taking care of. Well, I would do that anyways, because for the next owner. But there's a good chance I'll be taking it off also. The best way I think of installing it is to um, put the legs on one at a time. What I'm going to do is measure up some 3M tape to the size of this piece. Uh, I'm going to place this actually on the car in a desired location. This piece really is to protect the paint, um, and it'll, I'll probably leave it on. I'm not sure if I'm going to take the sticky side off, I probably will when I get the final mount. Um, yeah, so I've set you up there and now I can't show you the back. <laughs> That's um, okay, so I've moved you. Yeah, I'm just about to put the plates, one of the plates on, so my idea is put tape on the back of it. I should have done this in the house. Because I could have used the hairdryer. Which I was going to do. Uh, but I didn't. It should be fine. There's going to be so much clamping force that the tape is, is more of a like a movement preventer than anything else. They actually fit up really well, so I'm pretty happy with those considering just kind of built them. You can see it, yeah, line up with that one nicely. Um, small point of them will be just, it'll, you know, it will want to bend in, so I'm going to try and okay. So the camera just fell, um, disappointing, but that was just too shiny. Yeah. Works okay in the window, doesn't work so great anywhere else, so. I'm just kind of going to have to do it vlog style, I guess, and just show as I go. Um, so one of the plates, yeah, well after it fell I just kind of bent it back, but it's lining up pretty good. Yeah, pretty happy about that. Um, looks kind of like the photo now. <laughs> Doesn't have the dowels. Um, if that towel isn't yet, it, you kind of, you want this to mount flush. Which I do. Um, the plate will want to be in like basically past the seam, which is actually fine because it was kind of going to want to rock on it. Um, I think it needs to be the width that it is. So yeah, Just trying to get a pl placement on it. I think that's a pretty good one. Um, another idea that I have is to back out these screws and uh, mark a hole so that I can actually drill. Plate. Drilling the plate is a weird one, but I think it could yield some good results. Now, get the final placement of where I like the wing. Really wish I'd put more tape on there. You see how sticky it is. But I'm going to redo it just because I didn't cover the entire plate and the edge is actually where all the clamping is going to be so I just don't want it to not have something to cushion between the paint. That's kind of one of the reasons why I'm doing this. It's too big. A little bit more accurate this time with the tape, but yeah, you can see how even without the heat gun, you know, the tape is really bonding on there. So should be pretty good. I just gotten the first one mounted the first time. Plate is not lining up nicely. Um, worked out quite well. Fitment here is good. You can see there's actually play in the wing, like from here when it's on. I'm not sure if that's because I have the tape on it. I think it might have something to do with it, but I think it has a bit of play. 
So now they're going to put it second row of tape on the final fit. Um, but what I want to do now is back these out, recess the holes a little bit so that the screws will just go a little bit tighter without having to re on it. See how that goes. Okay, yeah, so it's been, I don't know how long, a long time, just double, triple checking, probably an hour, I don't know, that it wasn't going to damage anything. Um, I've taken it on and off. It's on there pretty good. Like, the bracket is on there, but see, the wing actually always has play in it. So I guess once you tie it together, that play will, will go away. Um, I've got the play on the other side, 3M. This is kind of showing how I've done it. 3M here. Let's put some here because it runs super close and you kind of have to slam it. Um, so yeah, I'll put some there and put some on the other side. And it hasn't marked it yet, but I know it will. So I think I'm pretty much ready to kind of do the final mount up. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you when that's done. But yeah, going well so far. Hope it looks good. <laughs> so after way too long, um, I think I'm done. cleaning it since uh, yeah I really like it um, I'm not sure how well it comes across with the wide angle I just took some decent shots of it in here not amazing but um, yeah I think it's I think it's really cool